Good day, everyone. So today we will be looking at an advanced packet tracer exercise. And in this video, we are doing the subnetting of the networks. So we'll be focusing more on the subnetting of these networks rather than the setup and the configuration of the network in Cisco. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have different classes on each network. Classes meaning class A, class B, and class C. You will also notice that each network requires a different amount of hosts. So for network one, which is the R1 network, we have 60 hosts, R2, 1,000 hosts, and R3, 5,000 hosts. So let's break this down. We are going to go network by network. So let's start with our R1 network. Our R1 network has an IP address of 192.168.2.0 slash 24. And in this network, we have four subnets with 60 hosts each. So one, two, three, four, and each subnet has 60 hosts. So what I have here is an image showing the different breakdowns of the networks. So as we are looking at our R1 network, let's look here. So to cater for the network requirements, we are simply going to convert this network into 192.168.2.0 slash 26, giving us a slash 26 notation. This slash 26 notation now gives us a magic number of 64. This means that we have 60 usable hosts we can comfortably fit into this network. 62 usable hosts and we are using 60 out of them. So when we add our binary, this slash 26 now gives us a subnet mass of 255.255.255.192. So let's break down our subnetworks. On our fast ethernet port, 0 slash 0, we will assign our first subnetwork. This subnetwork takes the IP range of 192.168.2.0 to 192.168.2.63. Remember, we are increasing each network by 64. And if we exclude all of our network addresses and broadcast address, our range of usable IP addresses starts at 192.168.2.1 and ends at 192.168.2.62. So here we have our fast Ethernet port 0 slash 0. This is our first subnetwork in our R1 interface. It has 62 usable hosts. Our slash notation is 26. Our subnet mass 255.255.255.192. Our network starts at 192.168.2.0. Our starting first usable host is 192.168.2.1. And our stopping or ending value ending our last usable host is 192.168.2.62. In the same manner, our first Ethernet, <clears throat> 0 slash 1, we will use the network 192.168.2.64 to My apologies, someone just came in. Right, so as I was saying, in our fast Ethernet ports here, 0 slash 1, we have 192.168.2.64 to 
our starting value is 192.168.2.65 and our ending usable, last usable IP address would be 192.168.2.126. Our next subnet is using our fast ethernet 1 slash 0. And this ranges from IP address 192.168.2.128 to IP address 192.168.2.191 with our starting IP address being dot .129 and our ending IP address being dot .190. Now just remember again, when we say starting and stop, we mean our starting is our first usable address in the network and our stop value is the last usable address in the network. Then last on this R1 network, we have our fast ethernet 1 slash 1, which is where our network ranges from 192.168.2.192 to 192.168.2.255. And here our starting IP address First usable host would be 192.168.2.193 and our ending value would be .254. So now we want to move on to our R2 network. So let's look at our R2 network. Our R2 network now has the IP address 172.20.0.0 slash 16. And this network has four subnets. Each of these subnets requires 1,000 hosts each. So to cater for 1,000 hosts, we will use a slash 22 notation. Why? Because a slash 21 will give us 2048 hosts, which is a little too much, and a slash 23 will only give us 512, which will be too little. So we go with our slash 22. When we use a slash 22, our subnet mass now becomes 255.255.252.0. So let's pull back up our little table here. So we are looking at our R2. Our subnet mass is now 255.255.252.0. Our slash notation is slash 22. And our number of usable hosts in each subnetwork would be 1022. So our first network here, we have our IP ranging from 192. 172, sorry, dot two zero dot zero dot zero to one seven two dot two zero dot three dot zero. This means that our starting IP, our first usable host, now becomes one seven two dot two zero dot zero dot one, and our last usable host is one seven two dot two zero dot three dot. 254. Next, in our second subnetwork, our fast Ethernet port 0 slash 1, it takes the same amount of usable hosts, same notation, same subnet mass, and our IP address now ranges from 172.20.4.0. And we start here. Our first usable host now becomes 172.20.4.1, and our last usable host in the subnetwork is 172.20.7.254. Then we move on to our third subnetwork, our fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 port, which ranges from 172. Dot two zero dot eight dot zero to one seven two dot two zero dot eleven dot zero. 
with our starting IP being 172.20.8.1 and our last usable host being 172.20.11.254. On our last subnetwork, our IP ranges from 172.20.12 dot zero to 172.20.15.0. And as we can see here, our first usable host is 172.20.12.1. And our last usable host is Last, we have our R3 network. So let's look at our R3 network. Here, we have an IP address of 172.24.0.0 slash 16. This R3 network also has four subnetworks, each requiring 5,000 hosts. So to case up for these hosts, we are going to use a slash 19 notation. And using a slash 19 allows us to have 8,192 hosts, which gives us 8,190 usable hosts. In each subnetwork. This then range changes our subnet mass to 255.255.224 dot zero and gives us a magic number of 32. So our first subnet mass, our first net in our first network, we have configured our fast Ethernet port to be 172.24.0.0 to 172 172.24.31.0 with our first usable host being 172.24.0.1 and our last usable host being 172.24.31.254. In the same manner, we have our second subnetwork where our fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, our network address starts at 172.24.32.0 with our first usable IP being 172.24.32.1 and our ending last usable IP in this network being 172.24.63.254. In our third network, our fast Ethernet port 1 slash 0, we have our network starting at 172.24.64.0 our first usable IP address being 172.24.64.1 and our final last usable IP being 172.24.9.254. And finally, on our R3 interface, we have our last subnetwork in which we configured a fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 port given our network address of 172 24.96.0 and our first usable IP being 172.24.96.1 with our ending last usable host being 172.24.127.254. So the first network is our, here we have our first network, which is our r slash zero network. Now, if you have noticed when we were going through each subnet, there was an s o slash zero slash zero interface. Here is where we are configuring this. Now, this serial port interface is configured with our router r slash zero, which connects all of our networks. So this network has, let me just quickly show you. 
our R0 network here has an IP address of 192.168.4.0/24. Here there are two subnetworks each having 30 hosts. So we convert this network into a slash 27, which gives us a magic number of 32. So our first network on our R0 network will be 192.168.4.0 to 192.168.4.31. And why is it 31? Because our magic number is 32. So again, we increment by 32. This then means our second subnetwork in this interface will be 192.168.4.32 to 192.168.4.263, with 33 being our starting value and our ending value being 62. So simply means our first usable host is 192.168.4.63, 33, and our ending or our last usable host in this network is 192.168.4.62. So now what are these serial ports? So let's quickly look at the diagram once more. And these serial ports are what is connecting all our routers. So we are going to configure this as well. So if we look here back at our sheet, our first port uses our 209.165.201.0 network. And that is this network here, which can basically connects to a web server. So that network is left as is. Now to connect router zero to router one, we have to do this. So router zero, here we are connecting to router one. So we have the address 10.0.0.0 and our starting IP is 10.0.0.1. And we are going to connect this to our serial interface in router one interface which is 10.0.0.0. In the same way, our second network, R2 interface, we have 10.0.0.4, which is configured here. Our slash notation again being 30, number of usable hosts is two. And then finally, on our R3 network, we have 10.0.0.8, which is here as well, where we configure our slash TT notation, two usable hosts, and our network is 10.0.0.8. And we can see this being reflected on this diagram. So 10.0.0.0 is router 0 to router 1. So router 0 to router 1 is 10.0.0.0. Then we have router 0 to router 2. 10.0.0.4, router 2, 10.0.0.4, and finally, router 3, which is 10.0.0.8. And we have it here, 10.0.0.8. And that's all for the subnetting part of this assignment. So I hope you understand everything that I have said today, and I hope that the table was easy to follow with the diagram. And that's all for today. Thank you.